How's it going everyone? Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find graphics card information. So to start off, you need to install GPU Viewer. Now I've already got it installed, so I can open it up. Actually, I thought I did. I guess we'll go over how to install it really quick. So it's on the Flathub store, so you can just do Flatpak search GPU Viewer like so. And we can open this up again. GPU viewer is right there, so we can just copy this uh, application ID. Do sudo flatpak install and uh, get the app set up. Now it's got to install quite a lot of stuff. So, you know, it's got four items here. Not too big like this one. The uh, free to, the free desktop platform is, is the biggest one, but uh, shouldn't take too long to get going. Once the installation is complete, you can look for GPU viewer in your app menu, open it up. Now we can find some graphics card information once it gets open. It should be opening any time now. All right, so once it's open, you're gonna see a lot of different stuff. So the default, it shows Vulkan. Now, if you are not a expert with graphics cards, because I know that I'm not, Vulkan is something that you're going to ignore. Like, it shows you all of these different in things, and if you're like someone who needs to know intricate details about Vulkan, you can do that. But for most of us, OpenGL is more important, and the reason is is because it shows you like information about your card through OpenGL. So like, I know my OpenGL renderer is my Radeon RX 580 right here, and I know that. I'm running a OpenGL core version of a uh, profile version of 4.5. I know that uh, it's got eight gigabytes of video memory. I know that it doesn't support unified memory. I know the EGL version is 1.5 and so on. And I can also see all of the different operations that is, you know, that are the extensions that are supported and running right now. I can see the frame buffer if I wanted to if I knew what that was. It shows a lot of inf important information. For basic users, uh, someone who just maybe wants to know your video memory or your what's my graphics card, or you know, does it support Mesa, what is the Mesa version, compatibility mode and all that. It shows all of that information. It also shows uh, you know, OpenGL ES and EGL. Lots of different stuff. It's a really useful tool, especially for video game designers and graphical engineers and stuff. But you know, just just as a basic information tool, I like it because you know, if I want to see basic info about my graphics card, it'll just show me, and I don't have to use a bunch of terminal commands. So that's how you find information about your graphics card. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video, and I will see you in the next one.